So this is the demo of our application that we're gonna make. It's a chat GPT image generation. So whatever object we're gonna search, it will show the image of that. So welcome to Techno Learning. In this video, we're gonna develop an app in Android Studio based on chat GPT image generation API. So first of all, let me open the Android Studio and then we have to create a new project and then we have to select that empty activity and then we have to give the name of the application. So here I'm giving the name as chat GPT and then I have to click on finish and after that we have to wait for the Gradle to be built and now let's go to the chat GPT website which is openai.com to make an account there to get the API key so as you can see that I just Google searched all this thing and got into this website you can directly go to this website I'm scrolling and clicking on that get started okay fine now firstly we have to sign up for this open AI platform so here you can sign up with the help of your Google account directly or Microsoft account or you have to give customly your email address so here what I gonna do I'll give my email address customly then I'll be clicking on continue then I have to choose my password so here I'll be choosing my password here and make sure the password is having at least eight characters in it okay then we have to click on continue and after that uh, we'll be receiving an email on the provided email address then you have to open your gmail and click on that mail and just click on that verification uh, link which is present in your mail after the verification you have to provide few more of, uh, information such as this okay continue and then here you can see that uh, you have to provide your mobile number and make sure that uh, we have this number on whatsapp also okay so what are it gonna do it gonna send the code over the whatsapp so here you have to open your whatsapp you will be receiving a message from open ai team and then you have to enter that uh, particular verification code then click on continue okay so here you are now you can see that they have various applications chat and that and now we have to go to this image generation part and then you can read about it like it's based on dal e model and then like uh, creating images from scratch on based on that text prompt which is a search box and here uh, now the most important thing is to take our api key okay so click on that thing in the right top view api key and now you have to create a new secret key okay so click on that and then you have to just copy it out okay copy it out and click on okay so now we'll just go to our android studio as uh, this work is complete for now okay so here what i gonna do i'll just uh, paste that the key uh, in a commented manner okay so uh, whenever we're gonna require this we'll just copy it from here and paste it okay fine so now we're gonna go to our build gradle as uh, we need one thing that is square picasso library uh, to present or fetch up the images uh, from the API and show it to the image view okay so for that we need to implement uh, that uh, Picasso here so here I'll just uh, type it customly like uh, you're gonna need this and then within this like uh, square brackets or only brackets you have to type under this double quote uh, com dot square up dot ok http 3 and then ok http then you have to provide the version number also so after that one more thing that uh, we need to do in the second line itself okay that is which is also the similar and uh, uh, this kind only okay so square up dot uh, picasso and then we have to give it like this 
okay and then there was a number okay fine now uh, we have to sync our project so uh, so that this library can be downloaded to our project so clicking on this sync now and link you can click on yes uh, I'm just clicking on do not show this dialog and then clicking on yes and it will build the gradle itself and then we have to wait for few uh, minutes so that the library got downloaded now I'm going to the layout file which is our XML file and here in the XML file we have to design our screen okay so by the help of XML code only I will gonna design this uh, user interface here okay fine so here first of all I gonna take the relative layout so here the parent layout is that uh, relative layout itself okay now I'll just choose some another required uh, XML property such as uh, layout margin also like uh, we can go for uh, compose which is the new thing in Android but uh, I'm going it uh, with uh, this XML thing because uh, you guys find it like uh, very easier when it uh, comes to the XML okay so now I gonna required a heading for this chat GPT as I uh, showed you that uh, demo in the starting part of this video okay so for that uh, text view I am giving here the ID for it so giving the ID as like uh, ID and then head text and uh, making like uh, uh, this layout width and height as wrap content and wrap content itself okay then uh, you have to type it out like layout center horizontal okay because it is not uh, suggesting for me but uh, when you write uh, in your Android studio it will gonna suggest you like uh, if you write center horizontal then it will uh, show you the suggestion you just have to click on that and a button fine now you have to provide your heading so I'm providing it like this uh, chat GPT images okay so uh, text view uh, we need further thing such as text size which is also a very important thing so I gonna take it like 28 SP okay so uh, for the text we gonna take the size in the format of SP then I gonna also take this text style so text style will be bold okay so here in the right side of the window you can see this uh, heading chat GPT so our text view is uh, like completed I'm again clicking on uh, this uh, sync now so that uh, like uh, whenever I'm making another thing or another view then I should get its uh, property in the suggestion box, box itself okay so I'm trying for that otherwise I'll have to type it customly okay don't worry and this is very easier task and now uh, we're gonna need one linear layout so as you can see that uh, this linear layout is uh, like uh, also not showing the properties but uh, let's see uh, what happens either I have to type it or like I, I can copy it from the above site like this control C and then control V fine so width and height I have taken already and that's perfectly fine and now I'm, I'm making like uh, width and height as match parent and rep content okay fine now we have this uh, Android layout central vertical uh, as the property of this and making this as true okay so uh, then we have to choose up some uh, gravity to place this particular view that's fine now the another property of the XML within this linear layout so now I'm choosing this orientation as vertical for this uh, linear layout so that the views that gonna be placed within this uh, linear layout as the child views uh, they will be in the order of vertical okay 
so first of all we are taking the added text so what is the purpose of the added text so we are taking the added text for the purpose of like it's a search box in this search box we are gonna enter our text like whatever image we gonna need like anything then we can use this added text okay so for that purpose we are uh, doing this okay fine so now I have to paste this this thing I have already copied out width and height so uh, that I am taking as like this match fill and add wrap content after that I have to give the ID which is the most important thing for that so that uh, we can supply our text from the view to our programming part that is in Java part okay so I am giving the text ideas like input txt uh, make sure the ids are unique so that uh, you can be uh, mapping these ids very easily uh, within that java part okay fine so now i have to give some hint like enter your text or you can write anything of your choice to provide users a hint about this okay fine now we have to give the padding so I'm giving the padding as uh, 11 dp here that's also fine now uh, we have to give another property such as uh, layout margin than vertical I'm taking it as 20 dp okay so this added text is uh, completed right now and then we are gonna need one button which is our uh, search button that will gonna trigger that uh, function for uh, the application like uh, you, you write that text in the edit text like whatever you write shoes cat apple then you want to click on some button then that button will be able to uh, take you proceed further okay so for that we are making this functioning button okay so that's also done now we have this uh, width and height for the purpose of this button also like we can take the width as match parent but we are gonna restrict the height of this material button up to 65 dp ok and then the another properties which is such as padding okay then you're gonna have to add some text so it's a search button so that's very common thing that we wanna add search text to this button or uh, like we can choose another thing also such as uh, generate image that is most appropriate for this okay so this material button is also completed and now we are gonna need some progress bar as we are fetching data from the API itself so that seems uh, we need the internet and for that uh, we have to do things like this only okay so progress bar is to like uh, data is coming like you have to wait for a few seconds so until that you wanna see this progress bar fine okay so then we have to provide ID for this particular progress bar also so for that uh, progress bar the ID is given as waiting underscore bar okay so until your uh, data is coming from the API it will appear to you on the screen then uh, you have to also work it on the visibility part of this progress bar either like uh, initially it will be uh, hidden so whenever you are uh, triggering that uh, search button then only it will be appearing otherwise it will be hidden so for that purpose I have added this property of XML and dot visibility gone okay so the progress bar is done now We have to show the image in a very designed way. Okay. 
so uh, like we are wrapping uh, the image view within this card view so that it appears good okay we can apply some uh, extra properties to our card view okay that's fine here I have to keep some another property such as margin so uh, margin for this particular card view will be like 30 dpm taking initial okay then uh, let me take it 40 whether I have to see uh, it's affecting or not if it is not affecting then I wanna remove it so here you can see that it is not affecting whether I'm giving it like fully so I wanna remove it or whether we can use that uh, Android layout margin that uh, will be a appropriate property for this uh, margin thing or we can choose like uh, margin from the start size and uh, margin from the and and then left right all this uh, we can choose but uh, that is not the necessity for this particular view so I usually avoid using these kind of properties but uh, for the checking purpose I was uh, looking at that so now that uh, layout margin I'm taking at 20 dp so it is working you can see in the right side of the window that it is affecting our UI screen ok fine then let me make this uh, card view a little fit to the screen so that uh, nothing can be break out as we have not applied the scroll bars in the uh, in this parent view so either it has to be fit uh, to the screen of the phone or it will break out from the screen so we don't want that that's why we are choosing it like uh, with and height like this then we have to add some card properties for this particular card view yes uh, this is the basic reason for using this card view as uh, we can have different kind of properties such as background colors corner radius as well as the elevation elevation is the, for the purpose of uh, showing the shadow so most of the images you have uh, seen in different kind of applications whether it is uh, shopping apps or food delivery apps so in, in that you have seen that uh, particular uh, styling of the product image so that's what we are doing with the help of that particular card view okay that's done now I am just doing like uh, making the margin smaller so that it is fit to the parent view yes I'm talking about the card view so yeah and uh, like making it 10 okay now it's uh, perfect now we have to add our main part that is uh, to add the image view inside uh, this card view yeah that will be the last thing that we gonna add up so this is the main thing actually when we gonna uh, click on that particular uh, generate image then the image will load from the API and that particular image response will fast up to this uh, image view with the help of Picasso library that we have added in that uh, Gradle file okay fine so here we have to uh, make this image view uh, fit to the parent card view as this image view is the child of card view right so I'm making that and giving us height and width uh, like this or we can choose like uh, wrap content and match parent so wrap content will not be uh, app thing for this so we can choose up like match parent okay so doing the same for the second also the height part okay fine so this is almost done the image view and then we have to add a few more properties for this image view such as ID and margin all these things so uh, let me type all these things this is for like general styling of this small UI part this is not a, a very complex UI uh, it has one parent relative layout then it has some uh, text view then it has a, a what you can say a linear layout and then this card view and uh, within the card view we are having image view 
also I left that uh, material button that is also the part of this particular UI okay fine so now we have to add the source so in initially we can add like color okay so like this and then the important thing is the ID ID must be unique for each view so that it can be mapped better in the Java part of this app okay so uh, this is almost done I'm giving the ID as uh, image underscore view fine image view done then I'm closing this and fine linear layout and then this okay so I'll be scrolling it down if you get uh, like anywhere you got confused or you have forgot to write any line or you have to match your code then please pause this section and you can do that work okay and now I have to go to the main activity let's go there okay fine uh, okay uh, one more thing that we forgot to add like uh, we're gonna use the internet so we have to uh, include the internet permission uh, from Android manifest file so here just we have to add one line that is use this permission Android name and it will suggest you like Android dot permission dot internet fine that's done and now we're gonna go to our Java coding part which is also like uh, only one file uh, code will be there that will be enough and uh, just we have to uh, do the mapping first of all and for the mapping we have to declare our views uh, that XML uh, views we have to declare here then we have to map that okay and then we gonna perform that uh, chat GPT thing so yes we are doing like this edit text and like image view fine and another things so like uh, progress for which is also very important thing to our application so progress bar why oh, it is not coming okay okay it's coming fine uh, we have to make it like this only progress bar uh, to like waiting bar we can say or you can add up any name of your choice it's completely depend on you okay so now the material button which is our functioning button to perform the operation in this application that's uh, done certainly it's a good thing okay now mm, all four things are there then we have to add uh, one more thing that is okay http to uh, call up that square square up picasso thing to call up that uh, api response and uh, it is it has to be object has to be fetched into the image view with the help of this so uh, for that purpose we are uh, taking this okay http client okay so first of all let me complete this line then we'll uh, remove this error this is maybe certainly because of this uh, some capital small letter confusion okay so okay http client and then we are gonna have like okay http okay so o is capital okay and then okay http okay that's fine no error till now and then we have to add one annotation also so before that uh, annotation i have to make one more thing one final static uh, variable that is media type which is a uh, json so as the api response will come in the format of json so uh, for that uh, i'm uh, taking the media type as like application slash json and car set will be utf and it will be like utf-8 okay to so just to configure the api call part okay that is also done and now just have to remove this extra space and one annotation that we need to add here suppress lint and that is for like missing uh, inflation inflated okay inflated ids that's for generally this uh, mapping uh, confusion issues that we have to do right now 
okay so here what we gonna do we just have to map our uh, declaration in java with our uh, xml okay so with the help of that r.id and let me copy it out at least four times then we gonna just change this variable name as well as that uh, id from the xml okay this is for the function button so here we gonna take up that function button and then uh, after that what we gonna head here like a waiting var and I'll be taking waiting var here also okay fine and then we gonna have uh, the image view okay so that image view is like image underscore view fine so we have mapped our uh, Java thing to XML uh, now we have to call some methods or functions that we gonna like uh, make it okay so uh, before that uh, first of all like uh, that uh, that button or that particular waiting bar we have to make like uh, set on click listeners for that okay so uh, set on click listener fine and within this uh, we gonna make it like uh, uh, we have to fetch up that particular string from there okay so uh, there is one mistake within this code in line number 38 instead of waiting bar you have to uh, write function button okay f u n uh, underscore button okay I'll just put up uh, it on the screen as a heading okay but uh, I'll also put it up in the description of this uh, video okay so like uh, first we have to fetch up the input text from the edit box and then we gonna check whether it is empty or not and on the basis of empty we gonna uh, check that uh, so the particular error please uh, enter the text if, if there is nothing within that search box then we gonna show this error okay then we gonna call this uh, chat gpt api and within this chat gpt api we have to pass our text that is a string uh, which is ipt okay and ipt is uh, used for uh, fetching the input text from the edit text okay of xml so we have this function so this is the most important function and now we have to work on that set waiting okay so this is uh, for that waiting var uh, okay so in line number 38 there is one error instead of this waiting underscore var you have to write uh, f u n underscore b t n okay function button so that's a mistake i'm very sorry for that but please correct it okay i'll be correcting it afterwards in my code and we'll show you the results okay fine so set waiting function that uh, is also a custom function which is also we have to uh, create right now okay so we have to pass out some uh, boolean values within the parameter of this set waiting function then we have a json object so we have to make it json object why we are making json object to uh, perform an api call we are uh, we will be gonna get that particular uh, response of the API chat GPT API or any common API you see it so we get the response in the format of JSON okay so JSON is a standard format for the API call then uh, we have to uh, take up this like a uh, JSON dot uh, put so uh, what we are actually doing let me see the ID first of all our ID is correct or uh, not okay so we'll come back size okay so id and size so here we have to uh, like uh, size we have to pass okay so here we are making a json object and within that json object we are filling uh, the object data so uh, in the object data prompt that which is that uh, ipt which is the name of that particular uh, image or object that you are searching for then you have to also tell the size okay so size 256 height and 256 width of the image should come uh, within the response after calling the api okay so then uh, request body and we have to create the request body here so json dot uh, to string 
so json object we are passing uh, to it and then okay so request body we have created so here we are doing the important thing we are calling the chat gpt api and now we are also uh, require that api key that we have copied okay so firstly we have to build up our request and with the help of that uh, request dot builder and here we have to give our uh, like uh, url url of the api so which is like uh, api dot open ai dot com slash and then the version name and then images then generations okay so this is our url okay and you can see that everything should be correct okay so type and then check it here after that uh, we have to also pass out like header so here we gonna give that uh, key so for the purpose of authorization uh, we have to pass out like uh, api token uh, first of all we gonna write like vr and then we gonna just copy this api key okay so this you have to generate by yourself don't use this key which is i am writing here that will not be valid for you so you have to make your account on openai.com then you have to create the secret key for yourself then you can instead of my key use your key otherwise you will uh, not get the response or result because these keys are valid for a shorter period of time as we are using the free version of open air okay so now uh, we are making a client dot uh, new call and that is uh, client what is client client is like ok ok http uh, thing that we have uh, declared earlier in the starting part of this java so like if we are not getting any response from the api so we will just uh, show some toast okay so first the toast uh, we gonna need that uh, context then whatever message you want to show to the user on the application that you have to show it or uh, right here like fail to call the chat gpt okay and then you can choose the line for short or long i'm taking the long then show okay fine and then the important part will come which is that uh, on response thing okay so uh, if we are getting the response then within the try catch we have to fetch up that response in the form of uh, json object and that json object we wanna uh, take up the image url to our picasso library and then that particular picasso library will uh, fetch it up to the image view okay so i gonna also show you the mapping like how it is becoming possible to get this thing to get the particular uh, parameters from this uh, json object okay so firstly uh, this is like uh, we have one object and that object have multiple elements so that's why it is uh, called json array and from the json array we have to uh, like go to our zeroth index of that array like zeroth element of that particular array and then we have to get this string having the name url okay then we have to load that image or load that url into our image view with the help of picasso so this is also a method and that method is also custom method that we have to define it's like it will take only uh, two to three line of code okay now set waiting should be false like if you are getting the response and uh, then after loading the image we will stop uh, showing the progress bar okay then uh, we have the catch here so in the catch if you are getting any exception here then uh, we will just write uh, e dot print statistic uh, stack trace okay so this is the standard form uh, to get rid of the exceptions and if you are using uh, kotlin instead of java then you have different ways to handle that okay so yeah fine now uh, before that i want to show you uh, that uh, json object thing okay so this is the response which is coming from the api so it is uh, within this curly braces we have a object okay and that object have multiple elements so that's why it is called an array so let's suppose it is the first element of the array uh, and that first element 
has another child element uh, which is called data okay so that data is also having uh, something within itself so uh, that is like uh, data will have that particular URL. like it is also having uh, some kind of array within itself so then we have to uh, go to that particular index okay and within this now we're gonna have that particular url so this is how we are fetching in line number 99 you are uh, seeing this so this is the particular way to get things clearly okay so this is for that thing. okay fine so clear and after that we're gonna remove this extra space from here and then we have to define these uh, uh, two methods that is load image and set waiting url okay so load image in that uh, image url is coming okay so image url with the help of uh, that library we gonna just show it but before that we need to use multi threading here with the help of this run on ui thread okay so with the help of this method we gonna just create uh, the picasso so picasso dot to get and then we have to load and what we have to load we have to load the image url and then image url we have to load to what a particular image view so image view that is imge view okay fine so that's done uh, the same thing we gonna do for the site waiting also like it just have to uh, we have to hide one thing and show one thing like we have to hide the button sometimes and we have to alternately like on converse we have to hide that uh, progress bar so if condition like if it is coming true like then we gonna hide that waiting bar so like set visibility set visibility that make it this vis view dot visible fine and the another thing that i gonna do is for that function button dot set visibility and which is like view dot like gone okay gone is meant for height okay in the else part we'll just do the reverse of this okay so in the else part i'm gonna just do the reverse of that just you have to change this uh, parameters the first line uh, you have to make it like view dot gone and the second line we, you have to make it like view dot visible so gone and then make it visible fine okay so a java part is complete you can see that there is no error but on line 38 you have to correct it by uh, on line 51 okay so that you have to correct it f u n underscore button you have to write instead of that waiting word and everything you can match up like this and now i'm gonna run this application and show you that result okay so here i have corrected the code okay but now we are getting one error okay so in line number 30 we have write match content but it should be match parent okay i'm gonna run it again let's see if there is any error okay no error so the app is completely okay and run successfully now we have to type the text so firstly i'm searching for that apple click on that button so apple will appear as it is uh, calling an api it will take some time okay so now it will show you the apple if you search the apple again then it is not the guarantee it is not guaranteed that same image will appear okay any other image will also be appear because it's an ai okay then we have cat and like different uh, test cases we have to search like i'm searching for a mouse here so let's see uh, what response it gives so it's showing this cartoonic mouse okay fine then i'll search for the laptop so it should show the image of a laptop instead of this mouse so yes laptop is coming and then we have this iphone okay so if you are getting any error or any problem in your application then you can mail me on atul at pc at gmail.com i have provided it within the video description also okay and then uh, we have to search for india so it will show some image so if you like uh, if you guys like this video and like my content then please uh, subscribe to techno, techno learning our channel and help us to emerge